Hello everybody, I'm GG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at double jumping. Of course we need to register a new listener so we get the plugin manager, register events, new double jump, jump this and then just create it because it will return an error. And inside the double jump I actually want to uh, do an event handler of course but the event handler is gonna require one more step and you will see uh, you'll see it in a moment public void on player double jump and it's gonna be a play a player toggle flight event and as you might wonder you can only do this if you're able to fly right yes so we're gonna do we're gonna get the player player p equals e dot get player and then we're gonna check if uh, p dot get game mode does not equal game mode dot uh, creative so you cannot double jump in creative you're just gonna fly in creative and if it's not creative we of course want to do e dot set cancel to true so we want to cancel the flight and after that we want to get the block that's two blocks beneath the player why do we want that block b equals e dot get uh play away uh, e dot get player so player he um keep pressing insert dot get location dot get world i mean dot get block at uh p dot get location dot subtract zero comma two comma zero why do we get the block underneath the player that's two blocks underneath the player because i want to check if the player is already in the air uh, like far in the air like double jumped in the air because we do not want to uh, have the player give the ability that he can jump forever so we do uh, block b dot get type dot equals material dot air so if it equals material dot air then we do not want to give them a player jump so we are going to do like that so if it does not equal air uh, this will return true if it does equal error it equals error it will return false and it will not execute the code within here and to actually make the player double jump we need to have a vector if you do not know what a vector is vector v uh, just search it on the internet the vector v and that's going to be player uh, so p dot get location dot get direction and we're going to multiply that by one and we're going to set the y value to 1 as well. That will make sure that uh, he will fly into the direction the player is looking at. And it will also fly up uh, with a vector of 1. And then just implement org the bucket dot vector And then p dot z velocity vector v. And that's it for the conic part for your double jump. Uh, player can only double jump once. And... Um, what you want because uh, we of course we can only do if we fly this so we need to add another event handler i'm gonna just because you need to give the player the ability to uh, fly i'm just gonna do public void on player join i'm gonna just give it the player join event e just gonna give him e dot get player dot set allow fly to true just gonna give the player flight when the player joins of course if you swap uh, swap between game modes so if you aren't creative but you go uh, towards uh, let's say if you are in creative and you switch to survival you will need to set this again so i'm gonna quickly change my game mode to survival before i join the server so that you can see that uh, i can double jump i see over there on server so inside Minecraft now, start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created. And as you can see, I'm going to change my game mode to zero and I'm going to join the server again so that I originally do not have the ability to fly. And as you can see, I can double jump like that. If I watch up, I'm going to jump much higher than if I watch down because and my velocity will be watching down. 
So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, and as you can see, I cannot uh, double jump or triple jump in the air. And that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you've got any feedback or suggestion, go down in the description box. There's a link to a Discord or just post a comment. And I'll see you in the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.